What is up, everyone? My name is Phil, and the channel is Phil's Polls. All right, I had to do that cheesy homage <laughs> to Phil because uh, I don't know if you checked out his channel. He's got an incredible channel called Phil's Polls on YouTube, and uh, he's a Brit. He's a former professional Major League Baseball pitcher for the Yankees and I think some other teams. And uh, boo, Yankees, me being a Red Sox fan. But I do love his channel. Um, Phil's Pulls, check it out if you haven't already. Um, he breaks this stuff. Oh, this has got to be his favorite product, even though he breaks much more expensive stuff. So obviously, he's a baseball player, former baseball player. He's got the money to buy the really expensive stuff. But... He loves any kind of sapphire edition, so, and he's got a he's got a real uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say bad words, a real something on for the this stuff because he's breaking all the time, and this is super expensive. I don't even know if I want to break both boxes. I don't have Phil's pulls salary, but uh, I I don't know if I want to break both boxes because oof, I'm probably gonna because I'm going for that guy Jason Dominguez. His kind alone is a four hundred dollar card. Pawson is like an $80 card. Just the base. God forbid if you get an autograph. Then that's ridiculous money. Bobby Wood Jr. You know, there's a lot of good cards in here. This box, I actually... I, I got very late to the party. I got this right before it sold out at Blowout. So these were $450 bucks a box. Which is ridiculous because they retailed for $150 when they came out on the top site. Which you will never... Uh, it's pretty hard to get. But I wish I was buying them when they were going for 300 I can't believe I didn't pick up way more than just two at 450 a pop. Paid almost a grand for these. So hopefully I get a good return on my investment. Um, you know, there you go. You see some of the big cards. Obviously, I would love to pull that. Even a Sam Huff auto would be, or yeah, regular would be great, but the auto would be better. There's your odds. All right. There's the side. So you get one autograph for a box. There's the front. There's the other side. All right, and there's the bottom. So we did a thorough review of the box. Now let's see what's inside of it, which if you watch Phil's Pulls channel or Houdini, uh, Cheap Fun Breaks, that's his channel, you'll know what's inside these boxes because they've opened plenty. Oh, that was an expensive opening. I've opened much more expensive stuff, so it's not the end of the world. Hunted for Zion. I do have a box of uh, National Treasures that I'm kind of sitting on. I'm afraid to open because I know it's not going to have a Zion or a Ja in it. <laughs> but anyway, I just mixed up the cards now because I'm not sure which one is the second to bottom because that's usually the autograph. All right, we'll see how we do here. Let me get moving. This is super expensive stuff. But I'm about to send in a submission to be graded, so... I figured I'd open this and see what we get. I can't believe I'm not even wearing the gloves. Because this is all shiny stuff. Brady Singer. I'm going really slow because I'm enjoying this. Sorry. Uh, come on. Colton Walk Welker. And we didn't even get a Bowman first, but these are such beautiful cards with the blue cracked ice. Uh, I feel like I should go get the gloves. Bowman first. It's not anything huge, but it's got another Bowman first. Uh, so two Bowman firsts. God, these cards are so beautiful. I really do love them. I, I, I see why Phil has a real um, appeal to these. So we got a Bowman first of Everson Pereira. It's not Dominguez, but still good. I'll take it. And a Brennan Davis.
I mean, you know, it's like a hobby box. You get a lot of stuff in here, even though it's super expensive. It's like buying a... Ooh, we got a color. Not a first, but it is numbered to 75, 37 to 75, Aaron, oh, I'm sorry, Mason Denenberg. I'm not sure how good he is. I'm sure I hope someone will tell me in the comments. But no Bowman first in that one. But we did get some color, so that's nice. Always nice to get color. More color? Could this be the auto? Uh, oh my God. That's huge. That's huge. Wow. Got some good money here. I made my money back. Um, oh my God. That's number to 25. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. I'm going to place that right there carefully. I'm going to sleeve this up right now. Oh boy! Oh my good lord! Good freaking lord! Those are thick card sleeves, regular card sleeves. Come on, thick card sleeves. Do we have any regular goddamn card sleeves? All right. <laughs> I was gonna use the El Cheapo card sleeves on this boy right here. I'm getting this right sleeved up and top loaded. Oh man. Oh, man, I want to send this off to be graded right away, but we're not really sending autographs. Oh, what the hell? Holy cow. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. But... Oh, that's beautiful. Beautifully centered. Wow, that's, that's just a very nice card. These are a little thicker stock than regular cards. I don't want to damage this. This is a regular top loader, I hope. Let's see how this fits. That seems to be going in okay. I'm not going to force it. If I have to get a 55 point, I will. That's all right. Come on. I hate when people bang them down. I'm just gonna leave it. I'll leave it right there. Wow. That's huge. That was a big hit right there. So it wasn't a Dominguez, but pretty damn nice being numbered to 25. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr., one of the big guys uh, that you want. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna have to look up what that sells for. If I get a Dominguez, I'm keeping the other box closed, that's for sure. Come on, give me a Dominguez, and let's just end this. Jacob Amaya, nice. That's another good one. Oh, man. All right. Wow, I love this product. I wish I was able to get more. So we got our auto out of the way, but still looking for... Oh, that's a good card to get, I think, if it is who I think it is. Wow. All right. Nate Pearson, beautiful cards. And a Wander Franco. Yeah, baby, that's nice. Oh, come on, give me a Dominguez before so I don't have to open the next box. Come on, just do it. Just give me a Dominguez. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Who is this? Oh, it's not. No Dominguez. Ah, Scooball, but that's good. Ah, oh, man, no Dominguez. Anthony Volpe. <laughs> Bunch of Yankees. And that was Luis Gill. Oh, man. Wish there was a Dominguez in there. So now we're going into it. We're digging in, digging in deep. What the hell? Gotta just live, go for it, rock out with you. You know what else? Oh, 
hope I, I got this right this time. So second to last pack would be right there. So we'll do that one last, flipping them over. And then I'm gonna put that at the bottom. All right, let's do this. 10 minutes in, I hope my phone does not run out of memory. And yes, we got a Bobby Witt Jr. base, which is nice. Okay. Tristan Louise, Xavier Edwards, Bowman first. Grant Levine. And a Bobby Witt Jr. It's always off on the centering. Look at that. That's great that the orange is not off on the centering. The centering looks good on that orange. A little bit slightly more to the left on, than, than the regular base. But that is huge right there. Let's get another sleeve for this guy. Good Lord. This is the Bobby Witt Jr. night. Really is. Man, oh man, oh man. Let's get a sleeve on this bad boy. Oh yeah, the, the autographs are slightly thicker in stock because this one went right in. That went right in. Look at that, Bobby Wood Jr. night. Much rather the orange auto to 25, baby. Actually, let's just put this here. Put those there. We'll see if we get a Dominguez to knock one of those out of there. I really hope I get a Dominguez because I don't have the money to buy more. Got an orange here. <laughs> is that an auto? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Why is the orange? Huh. I must be taking them from the wrong way. Maybe it's the second to top. But the auto is Thomas Dillard. No idea, guys. It's a... It's number to 25. It's an orange auto, which is cool. But he is not a Bowman first. So that stinks that it's not a Bowman first. I really don't know who he is, in all honesty. So I'm not a big uh, Brewers fan. But it's number to 25. Much would have rather to Jason Dominguez. And I really pray to God that I get one. Phil pulls them like every other second. He also buys like 5,000 boxes. Come on, give me a Dominguez, please. Ooh, that's good, right, Andrew Vaughn? I'm pretty sure that is a good card. Jorge Mateo. Brennan Davis. I want to think that that's a good one, too. I'll look that up. Oh, no Dominguez. Come on, come on. We only got four packs left for that Jason, sweet Jason. Give me that Marvin Martian. He really does, Phil put that on his uh, post. <laughs> he really he really does look like Marvin Martian with the helmet on. That's so funny from the Flintstones. Or the Martian from the Flintstones, whoever it is. So that was a Bowman first. Kind of another Balzovic. Balzovic. Alec Baum. Ah, uh, come on. I'm hoping that he's usually at the bottom when he opens the packs. Aaron Shortridge. Bowman first. So... another thing I noticed both of our autographs were color autos so they didn't say the sapphire and they still have the cracked ice which is pretty cool because the base autos don't have the cracked ice they're blue and they say sapphire like in cursive writing which is odd that they did that this year but come on uh, Juan DeFranco Uh, Colton Walker. Really need a Jason Dominguez to be in this pack. Please, baseball gods. Oh, man. I saw the D. I got all excited. Nope. But you know what? I'm, I'm not upset. Because that Bobby Wood Jr. is awesome. Number 25, something about Kansas City. My sister got married in Kansas City, and 
That's cool. She used to live out there, so that's cool. It's got some uh, sentimental value, I guess. And it's a great rookie, so low number auto, super short print. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you checking out the video. And please uh, remember to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you will know every time I post a new video. All right, thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding with the Phil Hughes joke homage. I don't have any special music in my channel. <laughs> but thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the break. All right, good night.